We're now joined by Dr. Chandi John from Indiana University School of Medicine to talk to us about severe malaria. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So, should we be concerned about severe malaria? Yeah, we should, very much so. There's more than 600,000 deaths from severe malaria every year, so it's one of the leading killers of children in the world. And there's more drug resistance and more insecticide resistance, so there's a danger that those numbers are going to go up. On the plus side, there's a new vaccine, so maybe that will help numbers come down, but it's still a huge health concern for children. And you mentioned death being obviously a horrible outcome. What are some of the other outcomes? So one of the things we study is neurodevelopmental outcomes in children. So of the children that survive, how does their thinking process, their behavior, their mental health, et cetera, um, uh, develop over the following years? And we found that cognition, and mental health and behavior are all affected in children with severe malaria, particularly a form known as cerebral malaria, which is kids with coma and severe malaria, and another form called severe malarial anemia, which is just what it sounds like, bad anemia with severe malaria. And are these lifelong challenges that these patients will have to overcome? We just completed a study. We had done three different studies looking at sequelae up to as long as two years after um, malaria. But what we did in this new study was get all the kids from all those previous studies, and it's now anywhere from five to 20 years after they had the episode, so some of them are adults, and we're looking at what happens in the very long term. We suspect it's a very long-term problem, but this study is gonna answer that for us. And obviously you focus a lot of your time on research, but I also have this fun fact that you write poetry and short stories. So how does this fit into all of this research and time that you spend on severe malaria? Yeah, good question. Most of my um, poetry and fiction and essays don't have to do with malaria. They're just about different things. But I have written some poems about malaria and I've written some things, both essays and poetry about the children, the ones who are affected, and their families, and the bigger concerns. I think that um, you know, poetry and medicine are in many ways two separate disciplines, but what poetry can get at is these bigger picture questions and kind of the heart and soul of why you do what you do and how life is affected, not just the particular health outcome you're looking at. And that's where I like to branch off into poetry and fiction. Well, Dr. Chandy John, thank you so much for taking the time and talking with us. Thank you. This was fun. Ha, ha, ha.